Gemini, thanks for visiting. This is your reading for, uh, from for <laughs> October the 21st to October the 27th. And as I always ask you, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. That's all over with, all of that boring stuff. I don't like great big introductions and I'm making it longer now. So <laughs> I'm going to get right onto your reading. Okay, so, all right, before I get any farther, I'm just looking at this and it feels, the feeling I'm getting is a lot of stress here. So I just, pointing that out to you before I start. Okay, sorry about that, that's just what I'm seeing, right. Um, okay, okay, so with this first card, with the Eight of Wands, um, obviously this is the fast card. It's like things happening quickly, being quite impulsive, and that's what's standing out to me in this card, impulsiveness, you know, being spontaneous, doing things in a kind of a childish way, actually. I'm seeing a lot of child-related things here, actually, now that I look at this, all sorts of different child-related things, childishness, um, all sorts of things. So I'll try and break these different things down for you. So the first thing I'm getting is this impulsiveness. That's what I saw, you know, first off. So it's kind of like someone was very, very childish, and I think they regretted doing this thing. They did something very impulsive, and then they kind of disappeared. That's what I'm seeing. And I think this is probably an ex. I think they um, they rushed off. Um, they did something very impulsively. They regretted this. I think they still do actually. And they disappeared after that. Very, very terrible. Um, and yeah, I don't want to dwell on this because it's not great. And uh, I think you have put it behind you as well. And you're way, way better off now. You know that. But there was this action, this really impulsive thing they did. And, you know, I think after they did that, they just felt as if, I've done this thing, I have to run away. That's what I'm feeling. It's very, very childish. They're not coming back to face the music. They kind of run away. And what was in their head was kind of like, oh, I'm on this runaway train. I'm already on this train. It's running away. I can't go back. And I actually think in the early days after they ran away, if they had have come back to you, you might have actually been interested in what they had to say. You would have been willing to talk to them, but it, you know, they just ran off. So very, very childish behavior. The other thing is, um, I think there was something you tried to contact them about, and I think it was quite serious. It wasn't like you were trying to contact them to get them back or whatever. It was more like, um, might have been something um, like a medical condition. It was something quite serious. I don't know if you have a child with this person. It might have been something about a medical condition. If it was, I don't know. Something quite serious. You tried to tell them this many, many times and you couldn't get through to them. Uh, and I think you gave up on that as well. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't think they ever got this message, but I don't think it matters now. I think it really did at the time, uh, but now I think it's okay that time's passed. So I'm just getting that. Um, and you've let this go as well. I don't know why that came up. Um, but yeah, I think, I think you could, if you haven't found out that answer about whatever this medical thing is and you need to find this out in the future, I think you'll be able to do that quite easily without contacting them. If this is about a child, okay, it might not be. I just saw that, so if it is, um, if it, this is something about some genetic thing, some medical condition or something, uh, you will be able to find that out without going through that person. You might have to go through a relative, you might have to go through something else, I don't know. Um, but you will be able to find that out in future if that's bothering you, if that's kind of stuck in your mind. Okay, so, um, yeah, they're, they're obviously a very impulsive person, not the right person to have around you, and you know that. that so that's over with, I don't want to talk about that again. Um, the other thing I'm seeing here is, <laughs> I don't know whether this is going to resonate with anyone at all. I'm just seeing this. A lot of different pregnancies. So it's really strange, all within a very close space of time. So lots and lots of babies everywhere taking up people's attention. And yeah, so there were two that were very, very close together. Yeah, I'm seeing one birth or a pregnancy announcement and then another one close to that and maybe even another one. And then kind of all the attention on that and all these babies. So really nice to see. I really like that. I'm getting a really nice feeling around that. And, you know, of course, when you have babies or when there are babies around, born in a family or whatever, you know, you know, that's where your priorities are. So, you know, 
all of your attention went on that. Everyone else's did as well. So, you know, just put this other thing with this silly childish person into perspective. That That's what I'm seeing. Um, the other thing is, there's a lot of busyness here. Look at this card, everything shooting through the sky, really fast action, lots going on. So, you know, you're very, very busy, very tired as well. You might have been burned out, maybe not that extreme, but very, very tired. And you just felt like, I have to keep going, I have to keep going. That That's what it feels like. So maybe you had deadlines. And I think you also had someone you wanted to spend a lot more time with. Again, I'm getting a child. I'm getting lots of children in this card. Um, it might not be your child, but that's what it feels like to me. It's someone you wished you could have spent more time with at this time, but you're just so busy. So, you know, for, if, it, if this is a child, if this is resonating, if this is a child, uh, firstly, you know, just know that you're doing a really good job. You're doing the best you can. And they know that. They understand that. They understand that you're not, you know, away from them or busy or whatever on purpose. Um, they understand that. Um, and I think, yeah, they would like extra time with you. I'm not going to lie and say they wouldn't. They, they would. And you will be able to carve out that time for them in the future. But the little time that you get to spend with them, um, just hug them, just be around them. And I know you're already doing that. But I'm just feeling this need to, I want to connect more with them. You're feeling that. They're feeling that. But just know that they know that. They know that you love them. They know you want to spend as much time um, as you can with them and just I think you know that this is all going to come to an end sometime this busy time so just keep on reassuring them you know after this week after this two weeks or whatever it is um, yeah we'll be able to do this we'll go out and do this or whatever and I think you're already doing that um, yeah so all right so the next card you have you passed is the five of wands so yeah this is complete chaos <laughs> So it's it's like you're very, very overworked. I'm seeing this. Uh, you have a lot of other things in your life as well, or you have at this time that are stressing you. Uh, and because I'm saying you have, it's, it might still be happening now. Um, so, you know, it, it feels like you wanted to find a way out of this, but you couldn't quite find your way out. Um, and I think you knew that there was an end to this, but at the time you're in the midst of this, it was like, is this ever going to end? It feels like it's never going to end. That's kind of what I'm getting. You know, because these ones look a little bit like one of those, you know, those hidden object puzzles where you have to find things and you can't find things. So it's like, I can't find my way out. I'm in this kind of maze and I can't find my way out. And, you know, if you look at the eight of wands and then the five of wands, you can see how things have kind of progressed with this busyness, with this work thing. It's like things were straightforward at the start. You kind of like, okay, I've got this project or whatever this is. I'm working on this. It's all straightforward. I know where I'm going. And now it kind of defend, it descends, I should say, into this kind of chaos. And that's what I'm seeing here. Um, you do have someone supporting you. I'm seeing you have some people there. I'm seeing, I'm seeing one specific person who really loves you and supports you. I think they have um, a health issue. Um, and that stops them from doing practical things for you. But they do love you and they do support you. I'm seeing that. Um, and also in the moon card that I'm seeing below this as well, um, you know, that can be about introspectiveness. So I think this is the message for you. After you've gotten through this big deadline, and you will get through this, and I think you know that you will, um, you'll have some time to kind of sit down, rest, and then you'll be able to kind of sort out all this kind of messy spider web of your life and all these different areas and you'll be able to plan them out properly and kind of set things out for yourself properly you know I'm not blaming you I'm not saying oh you're in this big mess because you haven't planned properly that's not what I'm saying it's just that when you're in the midst of all this stuff it can be really hard to see the end of this and so I think for now if you're still in this just keep on going one day at a time you'll get through this and once you get to the end you'll have that time to plan this out and yeah that's what I'm seeing again okay I'm going straight to the moon card now because I'm looking at this now again you are going to be able to see all these things um, a lot clearer in time because if you look at this lobster is coming out of this dark water out of the worst of this out of the murkiness where he can't see where he's going he can't see what's in front of him him which is what um, the five of wands is like you can't kind of can't see the end of this mess and he's coming into the light and he's coming up this path into the mountains and he's heading upwards. So there is, 
there is an end to this and you are going to head up out of this. So, yeah. Okay, I'm just seeing the sex again in this card and I really don't want to go into it. It's it's really not good. There's no point in going into this. Yeah, they held a lot of secrets from you, all of that kind of thing. And I think a lot of ex things come up because, you know, you're dealing with things that... Um, you know, we're in the aftermath of the old situation. So I'm seeing secrets here. They had secrets from you and all this. And I think it's affecting you to this day because you are very um, wary of anyone who has secrets or doesn't communicate with you properly. Or if you feel as if you're being ignored, there's all of that. And I think they did all of that to you. But anyway, um, I think, you know, even though you know they had secrets from you at this time, you are through all of this. And I think now you just feel like, you know, I don't care if they had secrets. I don't care what they were hiding. I don't care. I'm a million miles away from all of that now. That's how it feels to you about that specific person. But I think you do still have some things that you're dealing with now that came out of that situation. Um, like you don't like people hiding things. You don't like people keeping secrets and no one likes that, but I think it affects you even more because of what happened um, with this person in the eight of wands. Um, and they have a lot of regrets actually. I'm seeing that again here. Um, and you know what else I'm seeing with them, with this ex? Life's a lot better for them financially now materially than it was when they're around you. Uh, they might have a better job, I don't know, uh, but it's worse for them emotionally. That's what I'm getting. And I think they're still feeling these regrets about what happened between you. And I think they're probably around someone who isn't really um, appreciative of them. That That's what I'm seeing. Okay, so the first card you have your presence, the Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, here's all this work again, all this work pressure. And it really feels like, because I'm looking at this, and it's like a production line. You know, this man's making all these coins. They all look exactly the same. And it's like he's part of a machine and he's making them all, all going up that tree there. So it's a little bit like a treadmill. Um, and I think that's how this feels like for you. It's like, I want to get off, I want to get off, but I can't. And I know the end's there, but it seems so far away and I just can't get off. So you have things that you absolutely have to get done. I can see that you have deadlines or whatever. Big essential things you just have to work through. You can't get out of them. You have to do them. Um, and I think you are going to get through those things. There is going to be that rest time where you're going to have that thinking time that I was seeing in the moon card. So I'm seeing that again here. So yeah, just hang in there. Just hang in there. You're going to have that time and you'll be able to plan all these things out. Um, you know, I get myself into these similar situations sometimes where I overstretch myself. And, you know, sometimes, you know, these things just all come at you at once. You have work stress. You have other things going on. You have people asking you for things. If you have children which I don't know if you do, but I'm seeing a lot of children here. So if you do, that's another thing that can kind of send things into chaos. You know, you have your day planned out and then something goes wrong and they forget things. They're at school and they ring you up and say, oh, I forgot this thing and, and oh, it's all a chaos and then more things. So it all happens all at once sometimes. And I think that's what's happening with you. Um, and the other thing is, you know, I think in the workplace and in other areas as well, I think you have this really, your personality is kind of like you have this combination of being really, really strong, you know, and you're able to handle things and you are, you're very strong and, you know, you're quite opinionated as well. So it feels like I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm saying. Um, so I think a lot of people see you as this really, really strong person and they're right, but you can also be quite sensitive. So a lot of the time you look as if you're handling things on the outside and you are, but on the inside, you know, you can, you can really feel the, the stress in an emotional way. And sometimes it can come out in other ways because what I'm seeing here is as well, I'm actually seeing headaches. So I don't know if you're experiencing that right now or if you have um, lots of tension around your head. Uh, you might be waking up with headaches uh, or maybe the headaches are developing while you're asleep. So so when you're awake, it's like, oh, I've got, I've got this headache. You might wake up with them in the night, have to take something in the night. So yeah, with all this stress I'm seeing around you, it's probably down to that. But of course, you know, if things are serious, see a doctor. You know that. I've got intelligent um, subscribers. So, you know, you all know that. I don't have to tell you that. Um, and I think you probably are almost at the end of some of these stressful work things right now. 
And again, when you get to the end of all of this stressful time, just watch out again. Um, you know, especially when you have work stress, sometimes this happens. You finally get to the end. It's like, oh, I finally let go of all of that. And sometimes that's when the time, that's the time when you can experience headaches. Um, you know, because sometimes your body tries to release all that stress. It holds on to it while you're kind of in this, um, you know, this kind of um, work, 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 get through this mode. And then it knows when you're at the end of it. And sometimes, you know, it hangs on until the end and then it lets it all out. So you have all this stress um, headache coming out in your downtime. So just watch out for that happening as well. Uh, and you know, sometimes it's just your body kind of saying to you, you have to lie down. I'm forcing you to lie down in bed because I'm giving you this terrible headache and you have to lie down. So sometimes that's what your body does to you as well. It's like, I'm going to force you to release this stress and rest because I know you think, oh, now I've got this downtime. I, I haven't been able to do this and that, so I'm gonna run around and do that. And sometimes your body says to you, no, I'm gonna make you lie down, so it might be that. So just watch out for that happening as well. Uh, have some rest before you get into doing any of the planning and all of this stuff I've seen in the moon card. So yeah, that's that's what that's telling you. Okay, so the next card you have your presence, uh, the Seven of Cups. Yes, I hate seeing this here for you. I really, really want to see some good cards for you because there's all this stress here, but you know, this is what's here. So, okay, here we go. This is what's here. So yeah, frustration. Um, okay, so there's a frustrating situation here. And I think you've just been ignoring this for a while because for one, there's all this stress around you and it's like, what I'm getting is, okay, I know this is there, there's this problem, I'll deal with it later, I just can't deal with it now. But I think it has been on your mind a bit, it probably still is, um, and it's about trying to get to the bottom of something or finding an answer to something. I think, you know, I think you're trying to ask someone, that's what I'm getting, trying to get a clear answer and, and you're not getting that and it's a little bit frustrating. Um, I think this might be around a love connection. Um, if it is a love connection, I don't think you've been all that close to them recently. Uh, that's just what I'm picking up on. Um, maybe because you've just been so busy, it might be that. Um, and I think this person's been not elusive, but just a bit vague. They're not giving you clear-cut answers. That's what I'm getting. It might be, so what's happening with that? Oh, yes, oh, oh, I don't know. I'll tell you later or something. And it's it's some kind of vague answer like that. So what I'm seeing is this, they'd like to be able to give you an answer, but they're kind of waiting and hoping. It's almost like, it's almost like they're putting this curtain up because I'm looking at this nine of cups as well now it's like they've got this curtain up and they're saying oh um it's all okay behind here don't look yet it's a little bit like you know if you if if you have visitors and they say okay we're coming over in 10 minutes <gasps> oh no I have to clean everything up and I'm not ready and then they kind of come in and everything's a mess that's how they kind of feel about this so it's not like they are hiding things from you but it's not like they're doing it to kind of because they're doing anything bad. They're not cheating, they're not doing anything horrible to you, they're not having these horrible lies. It's like, I don't feel quite ready, I want things to be right, and um, they're not, so I'm gonna pretend it's kind of okay, and then I'm gonna run around in the background making it all better so that they, by the time I am ready, they'll see it and it'll be okay. <laughs> That's what I'm getting, I hope that makes sense to you. So, but what I think's happening is, Things are going to happen and they're going to be exposed. You're going to find this out before they're ready. So they're hiding whatever this is and then it's going to come out. You're going to find out about this before they're ready. I don't know how that's going to happen, but that's what I'm seeing. And I think, um, I think if this resonates with you, you are, you're not upset with the actual thing. This is what I mean, you won't be upset with the thing, but you're going to be upset with the fact that they felt as if they had to keep you in the dark, like this man on this card. Um, and I think things are probably going to be a bit difficult for you, between you, I should say, for a while, but you'll come back together. I think you will get through this together. And um, I think when they discover that you know, they don't need to hide things from you. Things will be a lot more relaxed between you. Because I think, you know, you can tell someone, you know, you don't have to hide this from me. You don't have to pretend that you're this or that or you're better than you are or whatever. You can just be yourself with me. You can say that with some people over and over again, but 
um, it doesn't sink in unless they kind of realise that and see a situation that actually happens for them to kind of see that. And I think that's what's happening um, here. So, you know, it is a nice outcome in the end. You know, sometimes you have to go through these things to get to the other side. So I think that's what's happening here, if this all resonates with you. Um, okay, so the last card you have for your present is uh, the Nine of Cups. So yeah, again, I'm really happy to see this here. Obviously, this man's hiding something. Uh, and all of that, which is what I was telling you before. Similar thing, he's hiding things so that he can look a bit better than he actually is. And they're not, again, they're not doing it on purpose to be um, deceiving in a bad way. You know, I know people are going to put in the comments, oh, it's never good to hide things. No, it's not. But there are different degrees as to why you might hide things. There are shades of grey here. Obviously, if you're hiding cheating, that's one thing. If you're hiding that you're murdering someone, that's on another level. And if you're hiding, I've got a big mess and I haven't cleaned it up yet, that's on another, that's on a much lower level of bad than other things. So there are levels here. So, um, yeah, so yeah, they're just they're trying to protect how you feel how you see them and they're trying to protect their feelings and all of that and you know I think they're going to discover that they're going to discover that um, you know they don't need to show their best side to you all the time um, you know they need to show all of themselves to you and their true side to you not just their best side and they're going to realize that and then when they do I think they're going to start to feel a lot more comfortable in this relationship you know this card can be about contentment and all of these things so yeah I'm glad this is turning out to be a little bit better for you um, I was getting a lot a bit stressed about this because it's such a stressful reading but I think that I think that this situation um, if you are in this relationship and this is kind of resonating with you um, I think this is actually going to turn out to be okay in the end it is going to be a bit stressful but it is going to turn out to be okay all right, so the first card you have for your future is, uh, yeah, the Ace of Swords. Okay, so this is this process. So I think this is when you come to the end of all of this stressful time. You're having this downtime from work now. You're having a bit of a time off or holiday or it's not as bad as it was. And now you're kind of having the rest. Now it's time to kind of sort through your life, cutting things out you don't need, sorting through the things you want to keep, and that's what you're going to be going through with this card. That's what this is about, cutting through things. So, yeah, I think you're really going to start to streamline where your focus is. I think there's something here um, that you really, really want to focus focus on now. Uh, for one thing, if you do have this child, I think you're going to focus a lot more on them now. But there's also this other thing. There's something else you really want to focus on, and I think you've only been able to give this maybe around 10% of your focus so far. And now I think you can give more of your attention to this thing. So, okay, with this workplace situation, because I think there was a lot of stress um, that was coming in for you with that. It was through your work, I think. Um, okay, this sounds quite bad, but it's not, it's not bad. <laughs> You're going to place less focus on this job because what I'm seeing is you're putting a lot in, all this stress, everything, extra time, extra effort, extra everything into this, but you weren't getting the same amount out that you're putting in. And I think, you know, it's just, it just wasn't, it just wasn't giving you what you're putting in. So I think now you're going to just put in what you're getting out. So it's like, no more, no more extra time, then I have to, no more extra hours, then I have to, no more extra this, no more extra that, I'm going to put in what I need to put in, and that's it, because I've got this other focus now. So you're really streamlining your focus on this new thing. I don't know what it is, it's something else you're developing, and I think what this is that you're developing is eventually going to get you out of this job. You're not leaving now, but you're just going to narrow your focus down onto this new thing. So your focus is going to be away from your job. You're still going to be working, you're going to be doing everything you're supposed to be doing, but you're not going to put that much pressure on yourself around your job. You're going to be putting your focus onto this new thing and that's what's going to eventually get you out of that. That's what I'm seeing. And I think with this new balance of focus, um, you're going to be a lot happier. That's what I'm seeing. So that's really, really good. I'm really happy to see that there. Okay, so the next card you have for your future is the Knight of Cups. 
Okay, I'm looking at this and I'm looking at the Knight of Wands uh, together here, so I'm going to talk about them together. Okay, so with the Knight of Cups, I think this is a little bit like what this past relationship was like for you, this this thing, this ax that I was seeing in the Eight of Wands. Now, okay, people say to me quite often in the comments, why are you bringing up the past? Why are you talking about the past? Now, firstly, um, you know, sometimes I just pick up on the past and that's what I'm seeing, so that's what I say. Okay, but another reason is I do talk about, I do go past, present and future and I do talk about the past because often what happens in the past shapes what's happening now and it shapes what's happening in the future and it's important to learn from that and recognize where these feelings and where these behaviors are coming from from for you and also other people so that's why i focus on that and sometimes people's time stamp present and future in my comments i don't mind if that's what they want to do but if they want to do that they're missing out on a lot because they're missing out on a lot of background and why things are happening so I just wanted to mention that because I do get that a lot. Okay, so anyway, I think this relationship in the Eight of Wands um, might have been a bit of a kind of a whirlwind romance because uh, I'm getting really strong feelings, really, really strong feelings that happened really, really quickly. And this can be kind of the knight in shining armor kind of sweeping you off your feet. So, um, and you know, the Eight of Wands is all about things happening really quickly. It's all about speed. So obviously, yeah, they weren't a very mature person because um, they had this. They made this childish decision, and they they kind of disappeared after that. And I think with this new relationship, I think you feared a similar thing happening again. And I think it probably took you a long, long time to get into this new relationship. You had a big period between this ex and this new one where you're by yourself and you weren't ready for any love at all. You're by yourself for a long, long time because I'm seeing a lot of people who are interested in you. You had a lot of options, but you just felt like, you know, I've got all these options around me, but I don't feel anything for them and I don't want to feel anything for them. So you were like that for a long, long time. And, you know, if you're worried about this person who's around you now, um, I know this thing of hiding things that I was seeing um, in the Seven of Cups, um, it, it probably affected you a lot more than it would other people um, because of your past and because of this person that ran away and you had this fear around that. Um, so if this has already come to light for you, um, I can't see what stage you're at with this now, but if it has already, if this has kind of uh, come out into the open, all I can tell you is they're not like the sex and they're not like the knight of wands. They're not in and out, jumping up and down, unstable, childish, not steady. They're not like that at all. This person's quite steady. They did hide this thing from you, but um, you know, it's for a different reason. Obviously it's not good to hide things, I know that. Um, but I've addressed this before, I'm not gonna go through this again. Um, but I think they're also going to learn from this when it comes out, or if it has already, I think they have learned from this. Um, and I actually think they've been through a lot in their past themselves. I'm seeing a lot of pressure. They've had a lot of pressure around them. Um, and I think they felt as if they had to live up to something in the past. Someone had very high expectations of them and they couldn't quite match them. So they felt as if they had to kind of keep things to themselves until they were ready. So, that might be what's behind that as well. Again, I'm not making excuses for people who hide things. That's just what I'm picking up on from them. But again, I think you are going to come to some kind of conclusion with this with them. Um, and I think things are going to look positive between you if this is resonating. So if you're still in the stage of, oh, they've hidden things, I don't know what to do. What am I gonna do about this? I think eventually you are going to come to some kind of conclusion and you're both going to talk through this. So that's what I'm seeing there. So Gemini, I hope this resonated, um, but general readings can't always resonate as you know. But again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you'd like to. And uh, thank you for watching.